So we're here with the e-skin displays right here, the SID display week. Here the iZone, hello. So who are you? I'm at the Bashish Chanda. I'm a associate faculty with uh, University of Central Florida, and we start up this small company out of best uh, research done at my lab, where we show that you can tune color on a nanostructured surface, and uh, and then you can actually also playing a small video, uh, and you can see that it actually a small bee flying across a nanostructured surface, and the color is generated through the nanostructure of the surface. So, uh, why, do you, why is it called e-skin? Because the plan was to really uh, mimic the fact that you use the patterning and the nanostructure of a skin. So the whole basis like that, you do a nanostructured surface and then that actually creates angle independent color using the surrounding light. So that you use the surrounding light to create color yeah. instead of using any uh, light source inside. Um, so, so what what is it going to be useful for, like um, uh, advertising? One of the big application will be um, uh, display si digital signage as well as e-reader, where you can actually have a com completely full color uh, video rate um, uh, displayability. Video video rate because you can actually change the color at a vi video rate because we're using a thin layer of liquid crystal to modulate the color. So you can have a full color? Full color and that's what it shows. You can actually see the whole uh, CYM color basis and color doesn't change as a function of angles. Completely angle independent color. And extremely thin film. This is a 100 nanometer film. And the color generating nanoparticles is 20 nanometer. So the color coming from such a extremely small uh, nano structure surface. So uh, why is this important? Because the other ways that people make uh, displays right now are uh, completely different. Right, because here instead of using any light source, you're actually using surrounding light to generate your color and the pattern. So you don't need any LED or any kind of light source. So no backlights? No, no backlights, completely no backlights. So it is using the surrounding light um, as a source to drive your display. What is this demo here? Uh, that simply shows a, um, a color swath, like you can do this color nanostructure surface on a glass plate or any kind of planar plates. Uh, this shows on a um, uh, uh, carved uh, plastic you can do that. You can do the same coloring process on a sandblasted glass to create a matte kind of color finish. Yeah. You can do the same coloring um, on a metal foil just to show that uh, this whole process can be done over various substrates from uh, a glass plate to silicon substrate to a metal foil to a plastic. But uh, how, what do you need to get this into like a, get a make a display that looks great for video? Right. What's so next? Next step is to do a call uh, color TFT integration so that you can mix all the color, which is a very well understand understood phenomena, and you can use the conventional electronics to actually integrate a color TFT so that you can make a full color display out of it. But how, how do you? How, how does every pixel have different colors and stuff? And Very sub pixeling, so you need to have three basic <laughs> pixel uh, C, Y, M. Uh, based on this color palettes, so you can actually pick three uh, sub pixel from uh, cyan, magenta, and yellow, and then and then you actually use a black state on top of it to switch color and black. And if you mix color and black state, you can create all other colors. So how soon is this going to be in displays everywhere? So we put some timeline there. Uh, that's the, on the uh, poster. We're trying to show that uh, there is a timeline we're trying to um, uh, follow. So you uh, want to do in flexible displays? Yeah, so that's the whole point because you can do everything on a flex. Uh, the whole, whole nanostructure can be done on a flexible substrate. And um, so you're going to do flexible, full color, right. uh, no backlight? No backlight. Long, like one year battery life, no months? Long battery right? because you're hardly using any battery. The battery is used only to switch the liquid crystal in a uh, capacity mode. So you're not drawing any act, much of active power through the battery. So uh, what's your background? Where are you from and where are you based? Okay, I'm in uh, University of Central Florida, um, uh, an institute called Nanoscience Technology Center. Um, so so this, I'm associate faculty. So my research was started from a National Science Foundation project. 
uh, NSF funded their basic research. Uh, then we solved had to solve a lot of fundamental science problems like creation of the angle independent color, integration of black and gray states, integration with electronics uh, TFT to make a video read. Uh, so all of those kind of helped us to come to this level where we are started thinking to commercialize it uh, for potential applications like a uh, color, full color uh, e-readers to uh, display my signage, uh, advertisement billboards, etc. But what is this material? Where those do you are get it from? Those are actually metallic nanostructures. So basically, you uh, you put down an aluminium uh, on a on a, any substrate. Actually, it's a very controlled nano pattern aluminium substrate.